In example three, we have five x plus seven y minus two x plus y. And this minus sign is important here because we're subtracting this whole thing. So we're subtracting the two x plus y. That means we're subtracting the two x and we're subtracting the y. So if we want to rewrite this without the parentheses, we have our five x plus seven y and we have minus two x and minus y. You can think of this negative sign as getting distributed across these two terms. The negative sign applies to the 2x, so we get the negative 2x, and the negative sign applies to the y, so we end up with negative y. Now we can combine like terms. We have 5x and negative 2x. Those combine to give us a 3x and we have a 7y and a negative y. Those combine to give us a 6y. So 3x plus 6y is our answer. In example four, there are a lot of negative signs. We have 6a minus 12b minus 7a minus 3b. Well, we want to try to rewrite this without the parentheses. Well, I know I have this thing minus that. So let's start by writing this first thing, 6a minus 12b. Now notice that we're subtracting this whole thing. That means we're subtracting 7a, so I'm gonna put a minus 7a, and we're subtracting a negative 3b. And subtracting a negative is the same as adding. So this is like saying plus 3b. Once again, you can think of this as this negative sign being distributed across these two terms. That negative applies to the 7a, so we end up with a negative 7a, and the negative applies to the negative 3b. So a negative negative 3b is a positive 3b. Now we can take this expression and combine like terms to simplify it. We have 6a and negative 7a. That ends up being a minus 1a, and of course we don't typically write the one, we just write minus a. And we have a negative 12b and a positive 3b. Those combine to give us a negative 9b. So negative a and negative 9b, or negative a minus 9b is our answer.